Uh, my name is Ayoub, uh, and I am from Sudan. Uh, Sudan is uh, a huge country in Africa before segrega segregation between the south and the north. We are in the east of Africa, south of Egypt. Uh, our capital is Khartoum. Uh, the Sudanese population is about uh, uh, 30 million people. Uh, we are agriculture country. Uh, we have the, the Nile River go across the country from south to north. It is uh, the long river in the world, Nile River. Uh, we are very nice and welcome people. Uh, we, ha we have good relationship with, with each other, uh, even outside the Sudan. Uh, my first language is Arabic, uh, and general in Sudan, in South, in, in North Sudan, the Arabic is the first language. Uh, but we have a local language inside the Sudan, more than um, 200 local language. Some of them is not Arabic. Uh, some people like uh, we have like Adenka, they speak local language. It's not Arabic, and uh, it's it's African language. And we have also in the nor north of Sudan, we have Nubian, which uh, they are my family. Uh, I am originally from Nubian in north of Sudan. Uh, they have also uh, other language. It is very old. I think it is uh, from uh, old Egypt language. Uh, but uh, in the government and the school and the college, the Arabic is the first language. Uh, and we must. Uh, use the Arabic to study or to write or to learn or to talk to each other. Actually, the first time when I came to the United States, uh, I faced a big problem with the language because uh, when I go anywhere, no one can understand me and I can't understand anyone. Uh, so my friend uh, gave me advice if I can attend the uh, care code because it is uh, a good college and a lot of international students uh, study here. Uh, so uh, to improve my English language uh, and uh, other things, uh, I can't get good job without I can't without I I I, I have good English. So I decide to attend Kirkwood to to improve my language and uh, uh, for my future to get better job. Now I'm studying uh, ESL, English as Single Language, as a basic. Uh, then uh, I, I, I will try to, I like that because in my country I study economic, I, I will try to study major that have link with economic like financial or like business or uh, I like computer science also. Maybe I, 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 I will go to like business information because it is general major have financial side and technological side for computer. Uh, my day uh, usually start uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning uh, when I woke up. Uh, I pray in the morning because we have five prayers in the day. I pray the figure in the morning. Then uh, I wake up my child. Uh, they, uh, then we eat a breakfast. Uh, I give them a ride to the school in the morning. Then me and Muna, my wife, we, we are a student in Kirkwood. Uh, every day uh, we have class start at eight, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we, came, we came every day to, or we come every day to Kirkwood. Uh, we have class between 10 and 2 o'clock. Uh, every day we have three classes. Uh, between the class we, we, go, we go to the library. Uh, sometimes we have some homework to do. Uh, then, after the class, we go back to school. We take our kids and uh, we go home. Uh, after that, every day I go to library, uh, normally University of Iowa library, to study. Uh, sometimes I, I, I study until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning there because I have other study, I, I work in it. Uh, then I came back to home. Uh, I take my lunch with my wife. Sometimes we sit to 
to to to see some movie or uh, to listen some to music. Uh, then <laughs> our days in now, we see, we go to sleep. This is our routine. But in the weekend, sometime we take our kids to uh, to some park in the summer or in the winter. We go to rec center. Uh, they practice skating and sometimes they we play like uh, uh, ping pong or uh, uh, what this one I, I forget pool. pool yeah we play pool uh, billiardo yeah billiardo Some, uh, we say billiardo by Arabic oh, okay. yeah then uh, that our weekend mm -hmm. we start uh, uh, sorry. Uh, in Sunday, we do our duty like uh, we go to, la to laundry and we clean our home and we cook for the next week. So we visit some friend or some friend visit us in our home because we live in area, we have a big community of Sudanese people. So sometimes they visit us or we visit them. Uh, difficult because we study English in our uh, country. Uh, I study about uh, four or five year English, uh, not as a major, but uh, as uh, as a class in our school and our college. But the problem because we 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 took the English as a British language, as a British English, and there is some difference uh, in accent and in, in pronounce in pronounce it of the of the, some word. And also some difference, small difference in, in the grammar. And other thing, because we study the English from non-English speakers. Our teacher was uh, Sudanese also. So uh, when you study the English, uh, the, uh, when you study any language from non-native or from non-speaker, they will not give you, uh, he will not give you all the knowledge like when you study from English. The other thing there, we study in the school English and we when we go out we we talk our uh, local language so no practice just we study about 50 minutes in the class when we go outside we forget everything or if you don't forget uh, the practice is uh, the important things to complete your study for example here I, when I study here and I go outside I talk this helped me to understand the class I, I, I took. Uh, as I mentioned, the language, the second thing is the weather. Mm. It's very, very hard for me, the weather, because in Africa we have very hot weather all the year. Uh, here the weather is very cold. Uh, first time I see, I see my snow was in Iowa City. Uh, so it was very, because when we came here, I came, I, I remember I came in November. It is. Uh, it was cold, not very cold, but it was cold. And uh, at that time, I I don't have a good dress for, for the winter. Uh, so uh, I remember uh, me and my family. We we affected by influenza for, for ten days in the beginning. Then uh, we start to have some good clothes, and uh, at first time we don't know how we use the heat inside the home. Uh, Sometimes it is off, we don't know it's off because we don't know, uh, you know, uh, we, we know there is heat, but uh, we are not for it because it, this is not our culture and we don't know about it. This, but after that, we, 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 we start to, to colonize with the, <laughs> with, the, with the community and with the weather, and now uh, still we have problem with weather, but uh, it start to finish now. Uh, I graduate from uh, economic, uh, financial and accounting from Jazeera University, bachelor degree of five years, ten semesters. Uh, I I was very good student uh, and I I was uh, the I like the accounting. Uh, I graduate in two thousand. Uh, this is a high degree of education I get in, in, in my country. In college? Okay. Uh, in our college, uh, for example, when I came here to Kirkwood, uh, I make a small comparison between the class here and there in our country. Uh, 
you know so, uh, in our country our economic is very uh, is very is very weak so the government uh, can't spend a lot of money in education so uh, our 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 university and colleague there is not like united states we don't have like technology like internet or uh, at that time in 2000 we don't have i think 2000 in united states uh, everyone can use the internet but in 2000 uh, the first time i used the internet was in saudi arabia in 2003 the first time for me no projector in our class like projector or computer uh, the professor just uh, go inside the class and he have his uh, book he start to uh, he start the class and he write some in the board uh, after we end we, we don't have internet as I mentioned we should go to the library uh, to take some book and to write some note uh, we uh, I remember in the in, in the college we don't have book just we take note from the class from the lecture uh, and we go to the library to make our note from the book or uh, then we study for the test uh, in our in my in my uh, class in uh, in economic we have about 600 students in one class 600 students it's very huge number for of people because with 600 you can't ask question and the the professor can't uh, answer all the question because a lot of people and it is 50 minutes for the class okay the relationship between the, the the teacher in Sudan and here there is a big difference because there in our culture uh, we have some gap between us and our teacher for example here the teacher can be my friend can I, I can I, not my friend I can talk to him comfortably I can smile with him I can love with him normally but there no uh, the uh, the doctor or professor is very serious man he, he uh, I remember my my doctor in the college he didn't smile one time he's very serious with us uh, he give us the homework if he didn't do the homework um, uh, he will not uh, understand what the reason he can give you F normally uh, he's a teacher in the Alas but I think the relationship between the teacher and the student there is very is very serious uh, I, 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 I don't remember I have any relationship with my teacher in Sudan because just I see him in the class first of all uh, the attendance there is not, not important that means the teacher sometimes uh, not time often uh, didn't take the the, because he can't take of 600 people for example it's very hard to take the attendance for 600 people the second uh, he start with, uh, with with the class uh, to describe something uh, and he used just the book uh, no projector or no internet or no his book or his note uh, uh, and uh, we have in, in our colleague we have like uh, at the end of semester we have the test we don't have midterm we don't have quiz and also we don't have homework just he give you the note and he go at the end of semester you will take the test and uh, you will pass or, or you will fail but uh, no quiz no homework and uh, uh, you uh, for, for example if you need to go to talk with him it's very hard because uh, a lot of people need to talk with the teacher uh, that all this link with the economic problem because you have one t one teacher for 600 for example 600 students so it's very hard for him to do all these things for the student uh, Ferris uh, for elementary school it is eight years eight years now we don't have junior high from elementary you should go direct to high school it is three years after that you can go to college to get degree in two years or you can go to university for four years bachelor degree uh, it is not free every parent should pay uh, it is not high uh, uh, cost but it, you, everyone should be and 
it depends on your state so if you are from rich family or you are from poor family but everyone had to pay uh, for college uh, is that your question or no specific writing class no uh, because in the college uh, you have your major for example uh, if your major your economic or uh, financial or your work would, will be focused in the economic and financial and uh, do some math work or, but uh, I uh, I don't remember exactly we have writing class in our college I didn't take before writing class in the college a specific writing class Uh, I hear before in some college like uh, like Arabic language college is like English department here they have some class in the writing because this uh, the job for them to write some essay or to write some letter but in other uh, college or in other in other uh, college no writing class specific Because I didn't study before in, in Arabic language what the ESA meaning and how you prepare the ESA, uh, I will I, I can't answer you by 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 the knowledge or by so. But I will tell you I, I will talk I will talk to you how we can write ESA about uh, by my experience. In Arabic we have uh, introduction also and we have conclusion. Uh, but inside the introduction we don't have like uh, you have a specific places for your idea or main idea or cultural idea uh, and in conclusion also we don't have like uh, you should start with the general word and you end with a specific word or you link the conclusion with the body paragraph at the same time in the body paragraph uh, it is not uh, you can for example if I need to talk about weather I can talk about weather in the first paragraph uh, first body paragraph and second body paragraph uh, no organization is like you uh, you should separate between the idea in each paragraph and uh, the other things uh, we are not focusing in like uh, punctuation like uh, comma and period and uh, we are not focusing this in our uh, just uh, when you write you start to write uh, I hear in the Arabic in the in the old Arabic there is some punctuation but now in our classes also the teacher even don't focus about how you make punctuation he or he didn't ask us to do that first I will try my best to do what I I learn in the college but uh, if I finish and I don't know if it is correct or no or if I, I don't know if I miss something I will give direct to my teacher because he will help me or he will sit with me to uh, to read my writing and help me to put some missing or that but for me it is normal to give him without uh, uh, without to be perfect there. okay uh, I think uh, he will focus in the both but uh, as we learn here in the fairies we, we write uh, in the fair, when, I, when I need to write any essay fairies I will write my idea because for me it is problem to write and focus in the grammar and uh, for, uh, to, to give idea and focus in the grammar and the uh, punctuation and transition in the same time it's very hard for me for me uh, first I will write my idea sometimes I write by Arabic um, for example because in Arabic we have difference between uh, we don't start our our writing by subject we we can start by the verb sometimes I write by Arabic but after that when I finish my idea then I go back first I check the grammar second I can move some word around the sentence from beginning to the last then I look to punctuation and comma and uh, period here in Kirkwood yes uh, last semester we have uh, uh, we had uh, uh, a writing class and grammar class and uh, uh, we met uh, the American student in, in cafeteria we sit uh, together about uh, 
one hour I remember that one an hour uh, we talk about uh, uh, general things like uh, my country and I describe to him what going on there and uh, how we live there and what we eat and what we drink uh, how our home looking like uh, and how our culture and he give me also some information about his family uh, this was good uh, chance for me to practice my English and to understand uh, what the American thinking about uh, I remember his name his name is Spencer and uh, I find him very nice and uh, very polite and very educated uh, he talked with me clearly uh, he described to me any things I, I didn't understand uh, I think this uh, a good point for me to find a chance to talk with American student also uh, in culture class uh, normally we go to cafeteria and we meet some student American student from from major class uh, we talk to them uh, sometime when we have international day also international day in Kirkwood we went there and we met some American student uh, we talk with them and uh, participate in conversation uh, it is good chance for us to, to practice our English uh, I, I, I moved to, to the current address before uh, five months before that, I was live in apartment in like American community. All our neighbor uh, were American. Yes. Uh, uh, I remember my neighbor. His name is Amy. She's uh, elementary school teacher. Uh, she's very nice woman. Uh, she was our friend, and until now she she visit us. Uh, we I remember in the summer every day we when we sit outside the home she sit with us and talk with us about the weather and American she asked us about our culture and uh, she uh, it, it, she was very good woman and uh, she still have good relationship with us also uh, when I go to government to any place in government to for social security or, or to apply for social security card or to DMV uh, or to market Walmart or Hy-Vee or Walgreen or to to buy gas from come and go and also uh, I go every day to University of Iowa library I know some students there I talk with them uh, because I uh, I focus in to practice English for example if I go to come and go I try to speak with the, the cashier more than one or two minutes to 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 make good relationship with him because uh, when he talk with me I feel like I uh, I get new knowledge or new practice in English yes for example uh, 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 before I study the, the class of culture I don't uh, I don't know what the meaning of uh, you should have a space between you and any person in elevator and in the bus because in our culture you can you can touch anyone it is normal uh, or when you greet one you can hug him by full your body but here no I learned that here you should uh, just you can hug him from the upper side of your body uh, other things uh, uh, I learn also in the culture that helped me a lot uh, because uh, in in our culture we can talk uh, uh, very loudly when you talk to one you can talk uh, but here you should talk like uh, not very loudly but by good way he can hear you uh, the other things also I, I, I study in the culture because in in our our uh, w before we came to United States, all the people outside the United States think about the United States like the, uh, they are very rich people, and they do uh, they didn't uh, they they don't do anything. Uh, 
because like in, in Middle East country like Saudi Arabia and uh, because I, I work there about eight years in Saudi Arabia uh, the people there are not hard worker but here I find all the people very very hard worker even in the college or in the in the market uh, when I start the culture class uh, culture five class I learn about the history of America when all the people came from around the world and how they suffered uh, a bad situation here they start to to build the home and uh, all the f basic structure. So this helped me to understand w when, you, when you learn about the history, you understand what's going on now. Three things? Sh sure. Okay. Three or more? Or <laughs> However many you would Okay. Like. Uh, I need from him to know I'm a very serious student. I don't know if serious... Uh, uh, describe what I feeling about series. I say I mean by series. Um, I came here to study. I didn't come here to 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 spend the time. I came here to study. That means I will do everything that helped me to study. The other thing, I'm very confident in myself. Uh, I respect the colleague. I respect the teacher. Uh, I like the colleague. I like the classes and the, the book what we study in it, uh, that's all. I will talk ab about general and specific in writing. About general, uh, I advise the new student to be very serious and to do hard work with the colleague. Uh, the study not finished when you left uh, the colleague. You should go to your home and you study again and you read and do your homework. Go to writing center. If you if you have any problem in the writing, they will help you. Uh, the study is your future. The hard work you do in the study in college, the best life you will get in the future.